Now, one of my most common questions that I receive is how do you play fourths going up with the same finger? And you'll know what I mean when you, st when you see this. So we've got a C, we go up, there's the note F. Do we play it with the same finger or do we bar? Do we kind of just lean our finger down? Look at that. And the same with G. Do we play G and move the whole hand or do we just kind of bar it and use one finger? Now, annoyingly, the answer is you can kind of get away with both, but there is a preference. And I would normally recommend that where possible, you try to move the finger across. So let's look at that example. So if you're playing C to F, here at this speed and with these shorter notes, it's quite comfortable to move my finger across. Um, but if I was actually playing them into each other, it is possible to bend the finger and to basically play this top one with um, a different part of the finger just further along. But it's less accurate there. You've got this really smudgy part of the hand with lots of flesh compared to the pointed fingertip where you've got your callus. So I think in that instance, it really de depends on, on what you're playing. And when you, if you have to move your whole hand it can, from one string to the other, it can add a bit of a gap. So you might, especially if the tempo picks up, it might be more practical to play using a, um, basically a bar. So you bar your finger, that's the, the term that you get from bass guitar. And pretty much it's the tempo that will dictate how much you can get away with. So if it's fast, that's gonna be easier than going, trying to move your finger across. You won't have enough speed there. Now you can, in some instances, use two fingers. But if we're talking in the lower register, I generally don't find that very comfortable. Um, let's look at when you go down. So that's when you start on, say, the note A and then E. And it's the same thing, really, where if you're at this middle tempo, I could probably play it both ways. I'm playing A to E, A to E, and then F to C. I, I've, I think I could do that both ways, and either would be fine. But if it was, then I would pretty much bar the finger. Um, so, yeah, there's no real definitive answer there. It depends on the tempo and how long the notes are. If they need to blur into the next one, you might find that you need to kind of roll your finger across. And that's, I guess, the last option is that if, if you're going up, say, from E to A, you could kind of roll your finger across. So, or maybe from B to, B to E and then you're kind of moving your finger a little bit so you can then get back into regular playing position whilst you're on that note. So generally, always try and use the fingertips where possible. If the tempo picks, picks up and you can play it in tune and it sounds okay, I say go for it and bar the finger where you need to. Just always be thinking about tuning. It's much easier in the first finger and the second finger, it's much harder in the little finger. I don't think I would ever do that, for example. I, I just don't feel like I've got enough accuracy and strength there.